CNN did Democratic Representative Josh Gottheimer a solid in a segment which appears to just be positive PR for the corporate Democrat who is actively fighting against Biden's Build Back Better agenda. Now, was he challenged at all in this interview by Dana Bash? No, we're gonna show you a few clips and I'll fill in the blanks for you. Let's take a look at the first. I think most people in the Democratic Party are somewhere in the middle or middle of the left. Listen, Bernie Sanders lost, right? And um, that, that's not where our party is. Bernie Sanders, a key player as this bill heads to the Senate, doesn't like those tax deductions that are popular here. Back in the car, Gottheimer mentioned Sanders again while talking about the state of the Democratic Party. We're not into socialism, right? That's not that's not that's it's not in the Democratic Party. That's the right. We are about pragmatic problem solving and people who can just get things done and work together. Do you feel that you have to say we're not about socialism because you're being painted that way or because you're being pulled that way? No, because that's a reminder that we're not we're not the party of Bernie Sanders, we're the party of Joe Biden. Now, I thought that Dana Bash might counter or challenge what Representative Gottheimer is saying there by specifically pointing to the popularity of the original version of Joe Biden's Build Back Better agenda, of Joe Biden's Build Back agenda, which by the way is the bill that Bernie Sanders has been fighting to get passed. But it's been stripped down, stripped down, stripped down with the help of corporate Democrats like Josh Gottheimer. So why don't we take a look at what the country really feels in regard to that initial piece of legislation before it got stripped down, okay? CBS News poll, we're gonna give you a lot of polls. There's more than one. CBS News poll, as Kyle Griffin tweeted about on Twitter, of course, 88% of Americans support federal funding for lowering prescription drug prices, something that Gottheimer has been actively fighting against. 84% support federal funding for Medicare coverage for dental, eye, and hearing. 73% support federal funding for paid family and medical leave, 67% support federal funding for universal pre-K. By the way, this poll is not just about Democrats, this is about voters in general. So this means that even Republican voters found provisions in the original Build Back Better agenda before it was stripped down, pretty damn popular. But Dana Bash didn't ask a single damn question about that or cite a single damn poll. I gotta give you more, Jenk. Let's go to this next one. 57% of registered voters said that the government spends too little on anti-poverty in the February 12th to 15th survey. This was, by the way, done by The Hill. 56% of respondents said the same of health care, and another 56% said that the country doesn't spend enough on education. We're not done yet, though. Here's another poll that was done by The Hill and Harris X, and it shows that the support for Medicare for all Pretty damn high. Now, Medicare for all was not included in the Build Back Better agenda, but this gives you a sense, guys, of how popular these so called socialist policy proposals and provisions happen to be. I would have loved to hear Dana Bash cite just one, but maybe, I don't know. We're talking about Gottheimer, who's in you know a vulnerable situation. He's in a district that had a lot of support for Donald Trump. Um, so why don't we take a look at what polling in New Jersey's fifth district indicates? Nearly nine in ten voters, eighty-six percent in New Jersey's fifth district, think prescription drug prices in the U.S. are too high, and seventy-five percent want to give Medicare the authority to negotiate lower drug prices, according to public policy polling. That wasn't mentioned at all, not even once in the context of that ridiculous pro Gottheimer PR stunt that CNN pulled off there, Cenk. Okay, so there's a lot of discussion about Chris Cuomo on CNN, and we're gonna do that later in the show. But it's really interesting juxtaposed to this segment here. They say oh, Chris Cuomo supported his brother and that was outrageous breach of ethics of journalism. Okay, but at least he was honest and said, yeah, I'm supporting my brother, right? So in this case, CNN is not honest. It's not personal, guys. I've met Dana Bash, I think she's a perfectly good person, and I feel bad criticizing good people, right? It's But it's group thing. And they all genuinely believe this giant ad for Gottheimer, which who is maybe the worst corporate Democrat in, in the House, is normal. They don't realize it's an ad. 
They, they never criticize him. In fact, they take every uh, part of the story and twist it in his favor. And I'm gonna show you how Anna's already shown you some, I'm gonna show you others. And I bet you that there was not one discussion of all the producers, all the executives, anyone involved in that piece at CNN. Hey, is this right? This seems to be an enormous five minute ad for this one congressman and, and frames everything in, in the light of moderate, so called moderate Democrats are awesome. And they're bothered by these socialists who are ruining it for them in their districts. I mean, you could watch the whole five minute thing, it's unbelievable propaganda. And so now, what are the parts of the propaganda? She says these tax deductions that Gottheimer's fighting for here and Bernie Sanders is fighting against, well, they're popular here. You saw it in that clip, she said that. Wait, do you have polling on that? She might, but she didn't cite it. We always cite our polling because we don't want you to think that we're replacing what Americans think with what we think. It's what Fox News does all the time, and it's what CNN and MSNBC do all the time. They never actually give you the polling from the district or from the country. They just say, "Oh yeah, no, no, no. the moderate position is super popular." They never give any evidence, right? And the socialist position is no good here. Now, by the way, what the hell does socialist mean? Of course, they don't never explain that. They not just in that piece, but ever on CNN. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. It's just wordplay. Anyways, so now the facts. Now, look, Godheimer opposed nearly every provision that Anna just read you mm -hmm. with overwhelming popularity. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Medicare negotiating drug prices, you just saw this 75% popularity. It's hard to get more popular than that, right? And that was very clear. It wasn't just lowering drug prices. That particular provision for Medicare to negotiate drug prices, 75%. Godheimer fought tooth and nail against that. Was that clear in the CNN piece? No, it made it seem like Godheimer was in favor of Biden's agenda as opposed to Bernie's agenda. But that's actually not true factually, empirically. He watered down Biden's agenda at every turn. He fought the most popular provisions in Biden's agenda and made the bill. And in fact, we've given you this poll in the past. When the bill was at 3.5 trillion, it was enormously popular in the country. And then an amazing thing happened. When they cut it down to 1.75 trillion, what CNN always cheerleads for. Oh, they cut it, the country loves that they cut it in half, right? No, the polling indicated it lost massive popularity and it went from very popular to under 50% once they cut the most popular parts. And Gottheimer did that, Gottheimer did that, that's a fact. So why does CNN? de facto lie to you with a giant ad for Gottheimer that he didn't earn and that isn't factually based. We ask you guys to do accountability on us all the time and to double check what we're saying, double check the numbers and the facts. But unfortunately, neither right wing media or corporate media ever actually cares about the facts. They just care about their agenda. Another example, Chris Christie. Every station did a massive special on Chris Christie because he had a book coming out. Why, when have they ever done that for a progressive? So what corporate media does is honestly not really news, but marketing on behalf of corporate politicians. The same poll that I cited from public policy also indicates that 40%, a whopping 40% of voters would be less likely to vote to reelect Representative Gottheimer next year if he opposes legislation empowering the federal government to negotiate pricing on prescription drugs, which by the way, he absolutely does. He has fought against that provision and he has succeeded in fighting against that provision. Among Democrats, 50% say they'd be less likely to back Gottheimer if he opposes the plan. So let me be clear about something. When CNN perpetuates this lie, this myth, this deception about how, well, what could Gottheimer do? I mean, he's in a district that's very competitive. A lot of Trump supporters in that district, what can he do? He, I mean, Trump supporters absolutely love the idea of being price gouged for ph pharmaceutical drugs, right? Except they don't, no American does.
right? So the fact that they claim that Gottheimer is this milk toast corporatist Democrat who fights against the best interests of his own constituents because he has no other choice but to do so is a lie. And the other thing that Dana Bash probably should have brought up is what the real motivating factors are behind the scenes for corporate Democrats like Gottheimer. Okay, it's not because he's principled, it's not because he's a vulnerable Democrat from New Jersey's fifth district, it's because he's corrupt. Let's take a look at where he takes his money from, shall we? I think that this is relevant information, a little bit of context that a well resourced outlet like CNN should probably get into, but they didn't. So if you look at numbers just from 2021 to 2022, okay, this is the election fundraising cycle for 2021 to 2022. Obviously, that cycle isn't over yet. We haven't even hit 2022, but it doesn't matter. You look at how much money Gottheimer specifically has raised, okay, from securities and investment alone, over half a million dollars. Okay, that's the bankers. That's the bankers, of course. Um, and then when you look at his top contributors, oh wow, golly gee, Blackstone Group is one of his top contributors. Blackstone, by the way, taking cheap money from the Federal Reserve and instead of uh, doing something that's beneficial with that money for for ordinary Americans, what did they do? They invested that money in buying up. Uh, single family homes, the limited inventory of single family homes, so they can then turn around and corner the rental market. Okay, that's what Blackstone is up to. But let's take a look at the entirety of Gottheimer's pretty short political career. Remember, he got elected into Congress in 2016. Um, he has taken more than $3.6 million from banks, from Wall Street, in his short career from 2015 to 2022. Okay, Blackstone Group, of course, one of the top contributors, $220,000. But look, as I've mentioned before, when you see lawyers and law firms as the top industry or industries giving to politicians, it's basically donors giving through law firms in order to contribute dark money. That's that's how they do it, that's part of how they do it. So that's why you see one point over $1.6 million from law firms. Yeah, so and that doesn't even include any of the dark money and all the packs that, that are going to help Gottheimer that are riddled with banking money, real estate money, uh, drug company money, oil company money. One more graphic actually from Open Secrets uh, because they break it down by industry. And uh, it isn't shocking to me at all that insurance uh, happens to be one of the top industries uh, donating money to Josh Gottheimer. And real estate there as you see, mm -hmm. okay. So uh, now guys, look. The main problem with CNN and all mainstream media, this is just a symbol of it, is that they take a positions of Gottheimer, and he's just a symbol of it as well, that we can show you and we have shown you where you can connect the donations to his voting pattern about 100%, right? And certainly in every example we've shown you, he gets a huge amount of money and then he votes for that industry. Now. CNN claims no, 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 that's just a coincidence. Actually, they never even address it because to them talking about the corporate donations is, is heresy. Well, that would give away the game. That would let your audience know why politicians actually vote the way that they do. And apparently in the news business, you're not supposed to do that according to mainstream media. And, and it's again, not just CNN, New York Times, so many others, they completely ignore the elephant in the room, all of the donor money. It's absurd that they never talk about it. Okay, but their excuses, no, 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 his views line up with the district. Well, Anna just proved to you beyond a shadow of a doubt, that's just not true. So what they do is they do this trick, this con man trick, where they replace the word corporate with the word moderate. And they go, oh, look, 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 oh, here it is, oh, they're moderates. They're the reasonable ones, moderates are reasonable. Everyone else is unreasonable. There's a little snippet in that five minute segment of him where they're like, he's like, I'm just trying to bring people together. And they have a guy at a diner, he's just trying to bring people together. The middle is great, the middle, they don't explain. According to the polling, it is not the middle. It is not the moderate position, not in America and not in his district. So when you claim that he is a moderate, Instead of actually telling your audience what he is, he's a corporate Democrat. Well, then you've in effect lied to them on a mass scale. And they do it all the time in almost all of their reporting. 
And that's why people don't trust them. And then they go, oh, I don't know why, why, why don't, why doesn't the right wing trust us? Why doesn't the left wing trust us? Well, oh, I don't know why. Because you're a corporate media that does nothing but ads for other corporate politicians, etc. That's why you lost people's trust because you weren't honest with them. And by the way, it's okay to have a perspective too. I don't mind that Fox News is conservative, I mind that they lie to their audience. So when we are progressive, we tell you that. So we did a similar story about AOC before she was in power, before she won anything. But we also criticize AOC and we're also honest that we're progressives and we agree with AOC. But CNN never tells you they agree with all of Gottheimer's positions. They claim to be neutral and objective. And golly, gee, they just happen to give millions of dollars in ads to corporate politicians and always criticize progressive politicians. But they're neutral. No, they're not. No, they're not. The whole thing's a sham. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.